hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good you guys the day i wrote down this topic to talk about i was very very angry and that's because i just watched a series it's called don't pick up the phone like at the time i wrote it down i just watched the series and let me just tell you guys if you have not watched it, it is on netflix i was so irritated okay i was so pissed i was so angry i was so annoyed i remember putting up something on my stories on my ig stories if you don't follow me on ig by the way please go and follow me okay or is it here or here i don't know anyway anyway um i remember being so angry at that video because it just showed how gullible how timid people can be and it is not a virtue okay i keep saying this Timidity is not a virtue. Even the Bible says the spirit that God gave us is not the spirit of fear. Okay, it's not the spirit of timidity. It is the spirit of love and of a sound mind. Okay. Be of love give love but also have a sound mind okay have a sound mind to understand people to understand situations to understand what you should do at the right time to understand when something is not to your benefit when something is to your detriment be sensitive okay timidity is not humility okay and being frightful being fearful not questioning things okay not questioning things is not humility i noticed that a lot of people go through life without questioning things they just want to swallow everything that is given to them and just go who clients and cash only when they trust the person giving them the information they just decide to go with what, what the person says they don't want to question anything at all i think it stems from the way sometimes our parents raised us okay a lot of parents raise their kids to not question them don't talk back at me don't don't question what i i say just do what i say you should do you don't need to know why just do it i said it's because i said so i said what i said okay a lot of parents raise their kids that way and i also feel like it's one of the things that are killing nigerians today but topic for another day okay but because of it a lot of people just go with what they see whoever they think is in a place of authority or whoever they think is better than them or whoever they think is doing well or is an authority in, in a field they just don't want to question the person they just want to go with it okay let me just tell you guys the premise of that movie now not movies it's a series okay it's a, a true crime series now there was a hoax scholar okay a hoax scholar that was calling people in a uh, in fast food restaurants, he will call them and tell them, he will, like basically he will call the manager and tell them that, oh, there's somebody in your, the person will say that he's a police officer, okay, he will come as a police officer and say that, oh, one of your waiters robbed one of your customers and lady is here, you know, to press charges and I need you to conduct a strip search on the person that, you know, supposedly stole her bag and you need to check for the money because she might have the money on her body so you have to do a strip search um you can actually search her there or i can tell you to or i can come there and bring her and arrest her and bring her to the station and search her myself okay so for me i feel like the best option is for you to search her yourself and just be sure that she doesn't have the money on her so that we don't have to press charges and stuff like that okay my issue is not that oh a police officer in quotes because he was a fake person but that's not even my issue like police officer called and said this and you know i decided to go with it right i think what even annoys me the most about this thing is that even when the person started saying things that don't even make sense you decided to still go on with it because you think the person is a police officer and then you that are doing it too you went on i don't want to go into too much details about what happened in that movie because you need to go and watch it for yourself okay the one that was so shocking to me was the scammer told the manager to search the staff right not only search her strip her of her clothing take her clothing and her car keys and go and put them inside her car okay so the girl was naked in this woman's office and then they told her that if you cannot stay there like you know you have she has to go about and do her own duties since you cannot stay there go and get a guy go and get a male to come and um look after the girl so the girl does not run away to come and stay with the girl they saw the girl does not run away she now went and brought her fiance to come and stay there and just watch over the girl so the girl does not run away in course how is she going to run away when she's even naked now right not only was he there watching her they told him to spank the girl told him to do so many things on the girl in fact told him to tell the girl to perform some sexual acts on him and he did it and she did it as well the girl i mean 
can't really fault the girl a hundred percent, but I still fault her somehow. But I can't really fault her a hundred percent because I mean she was scared, she didn't know what was going on, she was scared for her life, so she had to do all those things, including sexual acts. I'm telling you guys, like go on, what is this thing? It was it's, and it's a true life story, it's not fiction, it is a true life story. Including sexual acts, she performed them on this her manager's fiance because a police officer on the phone told her to. Now, this fiance, to me, the guy is mentally not okay. His excuse is that, oh, he thought it was a police officer, he thought it was this, he thought it was that. Okay, since you thought it was a police officer, couldn't you say, okay, you know what, I can't do this, like, this is against me, I can't do this, this is against what I believe, I can't do this, um, I'm going to put a stop to it, come and take her yourself to the police station, you know, he, because they said that, oh, the guy made it look like, oh, he was actually helping the girl by not, by preventing her from getting arrested, right, so he had to do all those things to help the girl from getting her arrested, but I'm like, oh, so, what is now worse? Getting arrested or performing sexual act on a, on a stranger. What is now worse? Getting arrested or being strip searched and being kept naked in a room for so many hours and being tortured. They even spanked her. The, guy, he, the, the police officer told the guy to spank the girl and he spanked her several times, okay? It was just a perv. The person that, is, that was calling was just a perv, right? But let's even leave the perv aside. Let's even leave the perv aside. I'm talking about the people involved in this action. How will a, a guy say that he... Did all these things to help her not to go to jail and you are doing very despicable things to her and you are allowing her to do despicable things and you are okay with that right now what this series showed because there were so many instances of this like so many so many instances what it shows is that human beings can be very gullible there are people that did not fall for it in fact there was one i think that particular case when the thing stopped was when a, a, another person like another staff entered there and was like the person was supposed to take over or so was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, that does not even make sense. Like, is this, are you normal? You know, that was how that one, that thing ended. Uh, long story short, anyway, the girl sued and those people, I think the fast food was not McDonald's, gave her $6 million and those people that did that to her, that is the manager and the, and the, um, what's his name, and her fiance were put in jail. I think the, the fiance went to jail for a long time though. While well, the manager, I think she got like five years jail sentence and probation, or five years probation. I can't remember what she got. But even in that footage, because they showed actual footage, they didn't show the whole act in the actual footage, but they showed actual footage of what happened. There was even a part where the girl was trying to lean on this her super, uh, on this her manager. That is the man, the woman herself. That's like the height of vulnerability when you're just naked, no clothes on your body, and people are just there, not even in the privacy of your home. They're just there like that, just naked and powerless. Okay, so she tried to lean on the woman. The woman was just doing as if she did not even care. I'm like, this is somebody that works with you in your establishment. This is someone that you know, and you're treating her this way because of one police officer that called. Anyway, those people went to jail and all of that. But my problem was, and why I said I was going to make this video is that. A lot of people do not understand that they need to question things. It's not everything that comes, it's not every information that you receive that you start acting upon. Okay, it's not everything you see on the internet you start acting upon. You can't start hating people or, you know, cutting off friends or disliking people because of information you see on the internet. You cannot just start acting, following this head, menta head, head mentality where, oh, people are going this way. So you just follow, follow the crowd because everybody's going this way. Let me just go. You can't even stop and say, but why are we going this way? Way. Where are we actually going to? What is it? What is there in the place that people are pushing us to? Nobody is stopping to even talk and ask questions. And that is why when you see the few people who ask questions, people either see them as oh they are being rebellious, they are being uh, uh, um, they are being troublesome, or people now uphold them and say oh my god this person is so brave, this person is so wise, this person is, is a superhuman, and you now make that person a, a demigod, and then you still follow that person without questioning things. Why? Question authority. Question people. If somebody is telling you to do something that does not make sense to you, ask them why. Ask them why. I mean, the highest thing they will do is say, oh, yeah, they are bugging me with your question or stupid question. And another thing I, I want to point out is that when people resort to force, coercion, or insult, things like that, when you try to question them or ask them or you don't go with what they are saying, you want to understand it for yourself, why? When they resort to that, that's already a red flag that what is going on there is not pure. That is a red flag that their position is not defendable because if you can defend your position, if you can convince me in layman's terms, if you can explain to me, not even convince me, if you can explain to me why what you are saying makes sense and I now say, oh, okay, it makes sense to me and I go with it, then that means that, okay, it's because you, you really understand what you are, you, are, you are dishing out, what you're telling people to follow. You really understand it. So that is why um, you are able to convince people. They always say, 
for you to know whether you know a particular subject, try and teach it to a five-year-old. If you can teach it to a five-year-old, then you know that subject very well, okay? It's the same way. If you can explain to me like I'm a five-year-old, why I should strip search this my um, staff instead of going to the police station, then I'm not like, okay, I should go with what you're saying. But this one, you don't even know whether what they're saying makes sense or not, though. Just because you heard police officer, just because your head is a policeman, just because you saw is a is your elder, is a senior, just because you saw is a politician, eh, is a pastor, eh, all, all those labels we put on people or all those labels that people have that we now use as reasons why we should follow them without thinking, all those things are just unbelievable to me. It's very, very unbelievable to me. Do you know a lot of people have done so many things? There are people who killed their own children because somebody said they should do so. Because somebody said that that child is a, is a witch or is a wizard. Then you now decide to kill your own children. There are people who have cut off their mothers that suffered for them all their life, that you know raised them, single mothers, did everything she had to do for you. There are people that have cut off their mothers simply because either church said so or boyfriend said so or girlfriend said so or wife said so. You don't want to question anything because, oh, I like this person, I respect this person, so everything the person says must make sense. No! There are people I love and respect and I hold in high esteem and I still question some things they say, okay? In case I'm into my channel, I love Jordan Peterson a lot, okay? He's a very phenomenal human being, like he's just absolutely amazing. Even his daughter, absolutely amazing. His wife, they're just fantastic human beings, right? Even at that, it's not everything that the man says that I'm here I follow. It's not everything that he says that I'm like, oh, it's true, it's true. No. There are so many things. In fact, I listen to his podcast sometimes and I'm questioning, but hmm, does it really make sense? In fact, I can research more and then I now see, okay, I understand his position better and it makes sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry, I'm not going to go with what you are saying because it doesn't make sense. People should learn to think for themselves. Your brain is not there to just hold information that people give you and just you know, spill it out the way it was given to you. No, your brain is there to hold it, process it, and then bring out a version that makes sense to you. That's what your brain is there for. So, as human beings, we should learn to question things. And where I am today because I question a lot of things. I know so many things I know today because I question a lot of things. Even things that are a no-brainer. Question things. There are so many things that I do for my kids now that I question. There are so many things that even down to what will I even say? I question everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. If you go through my search on YouTube or, or on, um, what is the name? On Google Chrome, okay? My Google search. If you go through my search, you will be shocked, okay? You will be shocked at the kind of things I search. I search down to, why should we eat pepper? You know, you know this kind of concept that is like, it's not a, like you feel like you know it. Even things that I feel like I know, I still question them. Even things that I feel like make sense to me, I still question them. That is how you gain knowledge, okay? Now, questioning things does not always lead to you changing your mind about those things. No! It can, it's, it, in fact, in a lot of cases, questioning things makes you understand that thing even better. Question God. People say, oh, who are we to question God? Question God. He gave you the Bible there for you to question Him, okay? Question God. Oh, why are we supposed to pray to God? You will see scriptures that are saying it. Why are we supposed, why did God curse the serpent? Why didn't God kill Satan? I see, see questions like that. Why didn't God kill Satan instead of uh, uh, killing his son? Why didn't God? Question those things. It's okay to question them, okay? But question them and seek you know, answers. Not that you're just there questioning them and you're just saying, eh, but why did God, what God did is not fair. Why did God not there? The Bible is there for you to know. Open your Bible and read. And this concept that people think that a human being can be genuinely 100% righteous, is so funny to me. You yourself, is it that you don't want to make heaven or are you a bad person? But you know how many sins you commit in a day? Are you a bad person? Okay? Tell yourself, except, I mean, some people are bad people genuinely. So, if you're a bad person, you know your own, your, your own is a different case. But I'm saying that a lot of us, in reality, are not bad people. Like, we don't, we are not actively seeking to harm people, right? But even at that, you know how many sins you've committed in a, in a day. So, why do you think that there exists a human being on this earth that does not commit any sin? Why do you think so? The only person who could not, who did not commit any sin on this earth was Jesus Christ himself. And that's because he is God. That's why, that's because he is God. <laughs> And even he himself, he even still questioned God at the end. He was like, why have you forsaken me? He even questioned his, 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 himself, basically, okay? If you know how the Trinity works. He questioned himself. Why have you forsaken me? So at the end of the day, it is not wrong to question authority. It is not wrong to question concepts, to question tradition, to question so many things. It is not wrong. God gave you the ability to question things so that you can either, you know, discard some things or you'll be more convinced about some things or basically you understand things better and you know how to do, do it you know to go about things the best way 
I feel like I'm ranting in this video. Um, yeah, I said what I said, okay? Yeah, I said what I said. Question things, okay? That's it. That's it. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you understand what I'm talking about. If you know what I'm talking about. If you get where I'm coming from. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.